we've greatly enhanced the ability to go from cross sections to surfaces. And if you have two surfaces that you apply to your quarter, then you can calculate volumes between those. This will get us more into the estimating side of the world for corridors. Um, in general, large companies that do roadways haven't been using TBC to estimate their corridors. Um, but this gives them a new opportunity, and we found that the comparison between the old way of, of doing things and these new enhancements that we've made, um, about an eight to one increase in speed. So what used to take three days could now take three hours um, with that. So it's so a couple of concepts that we've introduced to make this um, really nice. Now you can import your cross-section pages from a PDF file into the sheet view. And we found that most people, when they generate PDF cross-section sheets, they actually have the vectors in those sheets. So if you have the vectors, then you can extract those vectors, and that's a really good place to start from. So, so we've gone through this workflow numerous times. We've tweaked a lot of commands to make them work better in the 3D view, and we've added a couple little twists and turns to make the whole thing easier. Um, and I'll kind of show you those here in just a second. Usage of CAD data that can come out of a um, PDF file. So you can see I'm in the sheet view, and this represents a file that's already been fairly uh, cleaned up. There were several sets of cross sections on each page. You can see that this is a sheet view, so that if I go from page to page, Here's all my different sheets. And um, what we've done so far is, is cleaned it up, um, gotten rid of all the extraneous stuff so that it's pretty close to being ready to convert. So a couple of things that um, we've done to make life easier. You, you can now, in fact, actually just use one line horizontally and one line vertically for each cross section. You can do that by taking the vertical line and assigning it its, as its elevation, assign it the offset distance. So if it's the center line, you get an elevation of zero. For the horizontal line, you assign it the true elevation for the cross section. And so now the program is smart enough to know, hey, if there's just two lines there and they meet this criteria, we can use that to establish the grid. That means you don't have to go through and elevate every line in the grid and put text at every line is to show its elevation and its offset. So it really can simplify what you're doing there. The, this line work came from a PDF. Um, those were the vectors in a PDF file. So now when it's imported, you can it, w it will automatically extract the vectors. You have the option of automatically connecting dashed lines. So it begins to get you in a pretty good um, place to start. Now the other thing that we've done to make life easy, you can see here that in, if I go to the Project Explorer and look at the plan set, there's uh, about 10 pages of sheets here. If you have, say, 200 pages, we would suggest that you import them about 10 pages at the time to work with. So you can create multiple um, sheet sets in each set can have, say, 10 pages in it. Well, in order to make this easy to work with, if you hold down the shift key and right click on the sheet set, now I'm looking at all of the sheets within the sheet set. Okay? So by importing it into the sheet view, we don't worry about taking two places and, and establishing the coordinates or the scale. It all goes to zero, zero for the bottom of the sheet. They can all go on top of each other. So you can imagine if we still had the title and border on these sheets, I could pick them all and kind of go through all 10 sheets at one time. So I pick everything that's right behind it. We just got rid of the border and title block and labels and all those kind of other things that didn't really matter. So it was very easy. To to, now that you're looking at all 10 sheets at one time, you can use your layers to turn things on or off. You can relayer things, um, and it makes it very easy for, you know, instance, like just picking the grids. If you want to get rid of those grids, now I've got all those vertical grids and all 10 sheets. 
So it really speeds up the time that you might have to edit your files um, as you get through. So in plan view, we have just an alignment. And in our sheet view, we have all these sheets. So now we're going to run our create from CAD. Um, we're going to tell it there's no grid. So if we have just those two lines that we've oriented, we can do um, no grid. I'm going to change this here to be so in this view I've got just those lines that have been elevated you can see that there's got one green horizontal per page and one red vertical per page um, if you're familiar with this this command has lots of options we've added a couple more not to confuse things but to hopefully make life a little bit easier add some more flexibility so if we, we're telling it we have no grid, so we have to tell it the horizontal and vertical scale, which is typically going to be like 1 to 1 or 10 to 1. Um, we now have an extra option in what we create. Uh, we can either create cross sections, that's the one that we had before, or we can create 3D line work. And we found that it's a lot easier to create the 3D line work and work in your cross section view to kind of get things hooked up and put on the right layers, and then um, convert it over that way, build surfaces out of those lines. We've also added in the CAD data, we've added the option to, to do a mix of selecting and specifying things by layers. So we'll say that the station text is on that layer, the grid lines are there, and I don't need to do the text because I don't have text there, I'll leave it there. We can tell it that we're going to take this from a PDF as opposed to plan view and then I've got to select the line. So one of the clever things that we've done is you can now select kind of everything and it's smart enough to figure out what's a grid, what's not a grid, what goes on what layer. So I've selected everything and then hit apply. And you can see it says nine cross sections were created on layer zero. So now when I go back to the plan view, I now have cross sections and if I look at a 3D view, you can see that it's converted over the design line and the original ground, and it's placed those all on my alignment. So now if I want to build a surface, I can just go straight into surfaces, create a surface. Well, this must be thinking. There we go. OG, pick it by layer. Then I can begin to work with that surface, clean it up a bit. Um, it needs a few connections, needs a few settings changed with it, but I can create original ground, design, then I can compute volumes, begin to do all my estimates from that. Um, so, probably want to change a few things here in the surface. But, uh, pretty straightforward to go through at this point and clean things up. We got a little gap where the bridge was. Uh, that's the beginnings of being right. Yeah, and so that's gone from before you had to have a sheet of paper up, trace in the existing, trace in the proposed. It was only as good as you could trace it. Then convert it over, get do kind of the same process. Um, but now you have that, and rather than cross sections, you actually have the 3D line work that you could snap to. You can edit right here in 3D. If you had a spike or something that you wanted to bring out, you very easily do that.